The prediction of the molecular geometry of the perchlorate ion using the Vesper theory, balance shell electron pair repulsion theory. We first draw the Lewis structure. Chlorine is found in the seventh group and third period of the periodic table. Chlorine has got seven valence electrons that can be used for covalent bond formation. Very important though, chlorine has got a d orbital and chlorine can form an expanded octet if necessary so that for the central chlorine atom it can form either single or double bonds. The oxygen atom is found in the sixth group and second period of the periodic table. Oxygen here has got six valence electrons for covalent bond formation. It is the terminal atom and the oxygen atom can form either single or double bonds. Oxygen is the classical atom where it wants to form an electron octet. The perchlorate ion has got an extra electron. This extra electron is accommodated on the atom that is more electronegative and therefore one of the oxygen atoms will have seven electrons and the other three oxygen atoms will have six valence electrons. Chlorine, seven valence electrons. Oxygen, with the extra electron. The other oxygens, with the six electrons. Brackets, charge on the iron. It is possible to form electron octets around the three oxygen atoms with six valence electrons by making use of native covalent bonds or coordinate covalent bonds. So that for a first suggestion, we can possibly suggest that we have got a central atom chlorine bond to three oxygen atoms. And we now suggest single bonds to the oxygen atoms. When we compare this suggestion to what is measured in the laboratory, we find a different picture. In the laboratory, when we look at perchloric acid, the perchlorate ion is the anion of perchloric acid. We find that there are two different bond lengths for the chlorine-oxygen bonds. We have got three chlorine oxygen bonds measured as 140.8 picometers, while we have got one chlorine oxygen bond measured as 163.5 picometers. So that we have got three double bonds and one single bond in perchloric acid. We also see that the bond angles are measured as Oxygen, chlorine, oxygen, one bond angle is measured as 112.8 degrees and one oxygen, chlorine, oxygen bond angle is measured as 105.8, much smaller. When you've got double bonds, double bonds repel each other and the bond angles increase. The bond angle between a double bond and a single bond will decrease in the presence of a double bond that will need more space. We therefore want to change our prediction here. To predict a more correct molecular geometry, we now change the date of covalent bond to double bonds. If you start off with a central atom with d orbitals, if you use a date of covalent bond, to predict a more correct molecular geometry, we change the date of covalent or coordinate covalent bond to a double bond. And we predict now the presence of three double bonds and the one single bond here. The chlorine atom with the d orbitals can form an expanded octet. And indeed, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 electrons around the central chlorine atom. 
It is also possible to write several resonant structures, in actual fact four resonant structures for this molecule. By choice now we have written the bond to the right as a single bond, but of course we could have written the bond to the top as a single bond, and then the bond to the right will become a double bond, because altogether we will have three double bonds. Etc. We can write two more resonant structures where the single bond is taken first to the left and here to the bottom. What is necessary to understand is that we have got one and only one structure for the perchlorate ion and it will be the average of these four resonant structures. The bonds will not be single bonds and it will not be double bonds. It will measure as something in between. We predict now a molecular geometry where we've got a central atom A bonded to four terminal atoms. The molecular geometry will be the same as the electron pair geometry AB4 because we haven't got any lone electron pairs on the central atom. Therefore, we predict an electron pair geometry AB4 as a tetrahedral structure. And the bond angles to be 109.5 degrees. Our molecular geometry will be exactly the same as the tetrahedral geometry in the absence of lone pairs on the central atom. We make use of Cooper or Cowper structures to write the molecular geometry. We've got a central atom, chlorine, and we try now to draw the structure in three-dimensional space to represent the molecular geometry or structure. In other words, something in the line of a tetrahedral structure. And of course we have got four resonant structures, so we can write another structure like so. Brackets and the charge. And of course, two more resonance structures can be written. So that we predict for our molecule a tetrahedral structure, we predict bond angles of 109.5. No distortions, because remember, we haven't got double bonds in these positions. All these bonds are exactly equivalent. And the bond angle is also measured as 109.5. These bond lengths will all be equivalent. And they are all measured as 144 picometers. So that if we look at the molecule, we see that we have got a tetrahedral molecule, no distortions, all the bond angles are equivalent, all the bond lengths are equivalent. Molecular geometry will depend on the position of the nuclei in three-dimensional space. We move from oxygen to chlorine to oxygen, 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 and we have got a tetrahedral molecular geometry.